The Ulysses yacht is an incredible superyacht owned by Grainhardt. The owner commissioned the extraordinary superyacht with Norway-based shipyard Kleven. She features exterior designs from A2 Yacht Design and Naval Architecture, Oscar Mike Limited, and Marin Technic AS. The fantastic Explorer yacht was delivered in 2018, replacing the owner's previous 107 meter super yacht, Andromeda. Ulysses is a 116 meter expedition yacht. She is the largest expedition yacht in the world. In this video, we will describe all about this incredible yacht Ulysses. Ulysses Yacht Interior The interior outfitting, penned by London-based studio H2 Yacht Design, was on the other hand done in Germany by Finnish company. Europlan who had in the past mostly focused on cruise ships with only a few super yachts under its belt. According to several reports, the interior cost 20,000 euros per square meter. Ulysses features a variety of spaces to entertain its guests from informal to formal locations. With light colors found throughout its interior, Ulysses boasts a large salon on the main deck with extensive sitting spaces and a large bar. Unlike smaller yachts where most cabins typically look out onto the sea from a porthole, guest cabins on Ulysses have floor-to-ceiling windows directly opposite of the bed that let its guests take in the full view. Ulysses can accommodate a total of 36 guests. The largest cabin on board is however the master cabin which takes up an entire deck and stretches across the 107 meters entire beam. With panoramic windows on both sides of the cabin, the master was however designed to face the yacht's aft. A lounging area is located forward of the cabin, making up the owner's private deck. Despite its go-anywhere capability, Ulysses has also all of the amenities one could expand from a super yacht and perhaps even more. One of those is the yacht spa, which includes a plunge pool, sauna, steam room, massage room, and more all designed with white and dark blue theme. The wellness area is completed by a gym located aft of the main deck with a large variety of equipment and a breathtaking view out of a series of tall windows. One of the most astonishing amenities on Ulysses is her large swimming pool, located aft of the upper deck at a height of nearly 9 meters above sea level. Partly covered by the third deck for shade, the swimming pool stretches for 12 meters and is surrounded by lounging areas for her guests to bathe in the sun. Aft of this 400 square meter pool deck is an extensive jacuzzi, surrounded by sun pads that overlook the yacht's aft. Although an undeniable advantage of being on a yacht is the ability to swim in the sea, Ulysses is purpose built to be able to navigate in remote areas where the sea could be too rough for humans to bathe in, which is when the 100% jellyfish proof pool deck comes in. A large dining table is also located near the swimming pool, covered by a solid rooftop and ideal for informal lunches during the summer. The table is however in no way the only option on the 107 meter. In addition to many casual tables located all around the yacht's six decks, a formal dining area is located aft of the main deck with direct access to the kitchen for improved service. A wine degustation area with circular walls can be found directly opposite from the formal dining area filled with the most prestigious wines from all around the world. A small bar is also located in front of four large windows directly in this area to allow Ulysses guests who enjoy a glass of wine whilst taking in the view. Ulysses Hall and Superstructure were built by Kleven in Norway, with a clear purpose of having a boat that would have no limits in any respect. The expedition style created by New Zealand-based designer Kyle Dick for the yacht's exterior is a clear translation of this philosophy. Another one of Ulysses' highlights is her fully functional cinema room. Packed with comfortable sofas and equipped with a pro-level projector and screen, the room is fully optimized for a great sound and viewing experience. Ulysses' technical capabilities however perhaps best set into guests when they go up to the guest lounge, located inside the Explorer's Bridge on the top deck. This acts as a dedicated area for guests to take in the view without being bothered by crew operations and vice versa. One of the key requirements set forth by Hart was the development of a fully functional helipad. This took the form of a large dedicated helicopter landing pad located at the top of the yacht, with the capacity of taking up the world's largest helicopters up to 36 tons. Exterior The exterior of the Ulysses features rugged designs and was delivered to her owner in 2018. The builder was Kleven Maritime from Norway and features naval architecture and exterior design from Oscar Mike Limited and Marin Technic. Her imposing exterior features a dark blue hull in steel and a white superstructure in aluminum. 
The incredible yacht has an impressive exterior that reflects the luxurious interior of the vessel. She was most recently refitted in 2020. Tenders The most unique feature amongst the whole boat may however be the 21-meter tender that Ulysses carries on its bow. The two-deck boat, which most would call a yacht in her own right, requires to custom-built cranes to lift in an operation that takes just over an hour to execute. The yacht's main tender is a Princess 68. A Princess 68 has a list price of approximately $3 million. Specification The 116.15 meters Ulysses has a beam of 18 meters and a draft of 5 meters. The vessel has a displacement of 68.62 gross tons and a range of 8,000 nautical miles. She has two Caterpillar engines. Her top speed is 12 knots, and she reaches a cruising speed of 10 knots. She is classed as an expedition vessel and is the largest expedition yacht in the world, overtaking Luna Yacht's position as number one. The $250 million superyacht has an annual running cost of $20 million to $30 million. The yacht was built for New Zealand-based billionaire Grahamhart. We believe he sold the Ulysses boat to Yuri Milner. Grahamhart now owns the yacht Here Comes the Sun and her support vessel U81. In early 2019, the motor yacht visited Miami and West Palm Beach. Hart is rumored to have a residence in Florida.